Hey guys, how you doing today? Um, I was watching a video the other day and it was about a vision and a dream that a person had and they saw an asteroid flying through space coming right towards the earth. It hit the atmosphere and burst into flames and uh, hit the earth and with devastation and death and destruction it was the end of the world um, you know I want to help believers to kind of understand these kind of dreams and help them interpret it rightly in the spirit um, what they saw is is a spiritual thing it is truth um, but it is spirit um, there is a rock that fell out of the heavens, that burst into flames and crushed the empires of men. This rock is the revelation of Jesus Christ, the truth that He is Creator, He is Lord, He is King, He is God, He is Almighty over all things. This is the foundation of the church. You know, I, I see people looking out there and seeing two suns. And you know, this is the visible evidence of what Scripture says, of what God said. He said that through the creation itself, all men are without excuse for not knowing there is a God. So when you look at the sun and see the natural, created, physical sun, then look at its attributes. It gives light. It gives life. It warms you up. It causes plants to grow to provide food. It uh, gives light that you don't stumble and fall in a ditch. Well. Let this show you a spiritual truth and reality that in the Spirit there is a Son, a Son of God, that came and manifest in this flesh to show us the ways of God. He is light. He is truth. He is the reality because all things that are created come from the Creator, from the Spirit manifests flesh. Um, then I kind of get tickled looking at uh, Planet X and the Biru and what people are saying about it. They say it's uh, another planet and it's coming close to the Earth and it's going to impact. And, and uh, they say that that's where the gods came from or the aliens that seeded the Earth or. All, all of these things and what they don't understand is they are seeing a spiritual truth. Is it physical? No. Is it, is it spiritual? Yes. That they are actually seeing the future. The future of what? The New World Order? Uh oh, uh oh, shh, shh, shh. Uh, uh, there is a New World Order coming, but it's not like fallen men think it's going to be. We as believers, we see it as the millennial reign of Christ. Um, these people that the rock has crushed their empire and they get it and they are fixing to rule this earth, a new age, a new age of mankind where love and peace and kindness and mercy rule this earth. Yes, that's what it is. Um, is it the home of the gods? Yes, it's, uh, it's, it's a, a visible spiritual image of a, of a truth that is coming. Um, you know, in the book of Revelation, he is the Alpha and the Omega, the Omega. What was, what is, and what is to come. Where are you in that? Is, is Do you see that he was? Do you see that he is? And if you see that he is, then you see he is coming. 
Um, me right now, I see him as he is. He is Lord. He rules over heaven and earth. Um, I put my faith in him and in this, and I've stepped into his kingdom, which is the true power and authority. And from this power and authority and source is manifest all the things into my natural realm and reality. Um, he separates us in time and space to separate us from the evil of this world because we now, our source is life and love and that's who we are and what we do and it, it, there's a certain flow to it. It comes from the spirit realm into us and then into the world. Now people that don't know Christ, don't know the spirit realm, don't believe, they have no hope and they are in darkness and this darkness is sin, this darkness is doubt, this darkness is death. And when we see these things played out in these people's lives, we need to understand it doesn't affect us except that we should try to shine the light into them so they might receive the light and step over here into life and out of death. Um, now, in the natural, yes, we all have a day. Our days are numbered by God. We have a day that we go home, yes. But while we're here, we live and breathe and have already received eternal life. And there's no fear in anything we do. Um, you know, it, it, I was thinking of that scripture that talks about those dead in Christ. Well, I spent 40 years of my life as a believer, not knowing, but I was a believer. I believed in God. I read the Word. I prayed. I, I tried to understand. I wanted to understand. I was doing what I thought was right. And, and I didn't even know it, but I was dead in Christ. I was saved, yes. Um, but see, this revelation comes in God's timing. It comes because He knows you're ready. He was the one doing the work in you from the beginning. And this 40 years in the wilderness is a good thing, um, but when the timing is right, this rock, this asteroid, this rock of revelation will hit you and crush everything you think you know. It'll crush your empire. You've heard that term that some people are in their own little world. Well, that's kind of how we all are before we know Christ. And when this happens, we get it. All of a sudden, we understand that Christ is all in all. Everything that is, is in Him. We understand that we were born in sin, which is a veil, which is separation from any knowing anything about the spiritual reality. Spiritual reality is truth. It is true reality. The reality that the Creator created you, He has purpose and a plan for you, and He wants to bring you from this darkness into eternal life so that you don't perish in your darkness. It is about becoming one with Him in the now to be effective in this light, to be the light of this world as He was the light of this world. We have been chosen to be created by God's Spirit into the image of His Son. His Son was Him in the flesh, the Son of God. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty simple when you get it. Um, Trying to interpret too many dreams is a big mistake. I have learned that dreams are God's way of getting a lot of stuff out of us. And when we're in this state of dreaming, we are actually seeing the spiritual battle going on. And uh, this spiritual battle, as far as outside of ourselves, is already won. Christ defeated the enemy. It's done. It's been done but the spiritual battle within each person is what we see as our own spiritual battle when we have dreams. If we have a dream and it looks like a global thing, no, well, 
it's your world. Um, well, guys, I, I just wanted to say hello, and I hope people understand what I'm saying. I seem to be misunderstood a lot. I can say hi, and people will look at me and misunderstand it. It's the craziest thing. Uh, but I hope this helps you. I hope it blesses you. I hope it understands your dreams and your visions. And, uh, you know, God bless the ones that put up all these YouTube videos that, yes, it is intense. It is intense when these things happen to you. And they go on there and they, they put it down as a physical truth or reality that's coming in death and destruction and everything but what you got to remember is the death and destruction that comes to people first will be the destruction of their flesh mind nature way of thinking that is separated from God the death of that before actual death and if you let all this sin thinking, fallen nature thinking, um, um, worldly thinking go and, and start over again, start fresh, trust God, believe Him. He will bring you up again in right knowledge and then you'll understand all kinds of things rightly and the truth about what's going on. Um, it is true that we died on the cross with Christ. He took our death. He, he, he took this old nature, this flesh mind, this flesh way of thinking away, and He's opened our spiritual eyes, and we have received His Spirit. Now we live by His Spirit. His Spirit is love, it's life, it's light, it's compassion, mercy, kindness, forgiveness. But at the same time, we understand that those people that are still fallen, they have to reap what they sow. And by being this light, we are both at the same time. We don't enable evil. And we understand as we've grown up, we've had to pay the price and consequences for our actions, so do they. And in the process, of paying the price. It's the fire that brings them to repentance to receive the light, the truth that Jesus is Lord. Well guys, bless you and have a great week. I pray that everybody's uh, excited and rejoicing and ready for Christmas and I pray that people stop worrying about pagan stuff and paganness and blah 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 just just let's celebrate Christ. Let's celebrate that He came and that He is and that He is to come. Bless y'all.